what's up guys you know my youtube channel it's about speakers and sometimes i post videos with speakers playing music and sometimes just review them but today i want to present you the parts that i chose to build my own speakers three-way speakers so I do not know the part number yet but I will show you later on on the computer so the parts I chose 12 inch woofer from Dayton Audio um, the tweeter which is a planner tweeter and it's very big just compare it to my hand it's very very big um, I unpacked this so um, that's why they don't they they are not in the bags or boxes yet. Um, and this is the port I chose to put in my speakers, and also the mid range, which here you have on the box the um, the part number. But I'm gonna show all the specs in the in the computer a bit later. And this is the mid range. As you see in uh, on the box, it's a two inch dome tweeter. Okay. So before I bought these parts, I designed in SolidWorks or a CAD, how you call it, uh, a model and to have idea how the speaker will look like and obviously to make it uh, fairly big for the woofer because it requires quite a big enclosure um, so before I bought this I designed that one and I have idea how it's gonna look like so this is the woofer uh, this is the part number and this is the price for it uh, all the parts I bought them from sound imports, but doesn't matter from where you buy them if you decide to make something similar to mine So it's not sponsored or anything um, Yeah, so you saw the driver. This is the frequency response and It's about 90 DB this driver okay so i'm going to show you the mid-range by the way all the prices are for um, a single piece so it's not for pair this is the price for the mid-range and also this is the frequency response for the driver sorry my my chair it's uh, making funny noises also uh, this is the planner tweeter that I chose for this project and this is the price also for a single piece and uh, this is the frequency response for it as you see it has a depth here and to about 14 kilohertz something like that 13 14 kilohertz but uh, I found this uh, website where it's showing you how to make it sound more even um, you have to remove the damping from the tweeter to dismantle it but I'm not gonna do that to mine so it's gonna stay exactly like this so um, now I'm gonna show you um, how the speaker look like in my vision uh, one second okay so this is the design of the speaker that I choose uh, it's a 700 tall 350 wide and 386 on depth so I'm gonna try to make it now just so I'm not a master of solid works so bear with me 386 mil Okay, so I'm, uh, okay, and okay, so 
so the speaker will look like this where here is the tweeter here is the mid-range here is the base port and here is the woofer I'm gonna make it from 18 millimeter thick MDF um, and I hope in the end will gonna look nice and obviously it's gonna sound nice also so when I decide to make this project obviously I do not have much experience with the crossovers so because I have the crossover from uh, my previous speakers which were the realistic much too you have some videos of uh, that speakers in um, on, on my channel um, and where I upgraded the capacitors so I said I'm gonna use that crossover for this project but using the XSIM so XSIM it's a simulator where you can put the parts of your drivers and stuff like that so as you see on the left you, you have the crossover from the realistic doesn't look great how I uh, managed to replicate it but this is the frequency response of the drivers so here the red line it's for the woofers and as you see the mid range is really bad and it's crossing very high to about 950 hertz which is very very high in my opinion as i said i do not have much experience with the crossovers and it's something new for me and i experimenting everything um, and obviously the black line is the tweeter this is the impedance which is the the lowest it's about six ohms the speakers were rated to about eight ohms before okay so after days after days trying i managed to get a better crossover so this is the crossover that uh, I managed to make. This is the frequency response, uh, which as you see, it's much, much better, much flatter. The crossover point for this thing is 300, uh, 530 for mid-range and uh, woofer and about 3 kilohertz for the Twitter okay so now I'm gonna try to um, to build the cabinets obviously I have to buy the wood and all sorts of planning for them but also I looked for the parts that I need for this crossover so everything you see here I have to buy them a part of few capacitors that I have from the realistic match too so I'm gonna show you the parts also the parts that I chose they're from um, sound imports so as I said you can buy for it from wherever you like it's not um, it's not sponsored or anything so you have some capacitors some inductors and also some resistors so all these parts are already in this uh, simulator so uh, let me focus my camera is not fantastic so as you see when I double click here you already have the part number for this uh, for the woofer and also oh, one second and also for the Twitter I, I put a different part number because on this Twitter I had to make the uh, FRD and ZMA files by myself because you cannot find them on the internet 
So I'm, later on I'm going to show you how I've made the ZMA and FRD files for the Twitter. Obviously this one I could find it and you have the part number just there. I'm not going to move again. Yes. Okay. So. Alright. So I hope everything is gonna be all right in the end these speakers is gonna be quite expensive and the reason I've chosen to to build my own speaker was because um, I never was happy with um, the sound something was not fantastic for example the tweeters or for example the mid-range or the bass the realistic much to speaker that I had were one of the best sound speakers that I had and was a pleasure to listen on them especially after I upgrade them you have videos in, on my channel if you are interested to check them for example uh, at the moment I have this um, speakers Hiko interior 220s and obviously an amplifier Technics and um, I am happy with these speakers but when it's coming the mid-range it's not not great for example when it's playing um, low keys of piano or guitar or um, let's say a male voices they don't sound as I know they sound on my um, studio headphones yeah which I have them from Yamaha um, yeah so I'll come with more uh, details about my project in uh, the next video thank you very much